the ruse, the, no, ruse, just r- rust. no, ruse, 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 I can't, ruse, the ruse. <laughs> guys, am I having a, <laughs> 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 am I having a stroke, hey, yo. four hey. guys with a mic taking on the world, <laughs> so I just can't f-ing speak, like, good old club soda, and welcome to Listen Buddy Podcast, we are back, yeah, with another episode. Oh, why was that one so quiet? Yeah, try that again. Just, <laughs> and we it's like in are the distant. back. Come on. It was there like in the go. distance. I was like, pew. I was like, <laughs> like what was that? Was like, what was there a sniper yes, here? <laughs> but yeah. Back with another Listen Buddy podcast. Ro- Sun dried tomatoes. Yeah, 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 it's, it's every right, time, right, man. Right. We're gonna, they're going to get sued if we Young use the, the legal. Hey. Maybe that like helps explain because like some people don't understand that sun dried tomatoes, but I like, put it together. Bro. It's you a play it. on rotten tomatoes. There you go. But we do oh, it better. F- oh, fuck. I yeah. said the word. It's Hopefully they now. don't. It's they're going to cook now. us. <laughs> so, yeah, you hear Sun-Dried Tomatoes. That means it's going to be a movie review. Come the movie on. this week is Trap. Hey. M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> is back with another one. Banger. All right. We're back officially in, like, the spooky season. It's starting to go up, you know? We got, like, two, three. <laughs> what is it? Chills and Thrills for AMC? Yeah. That's Literally, the, the, our next three, re- I guess not are anymore, but, like, before it was Trap. Uh, a, a cuckoo and then alien and it says yeah. thrills and chills for all of them it's gonna this be is awesome. my type of genre bro we getting towards october so and isn't smile 2 coming out in like a month oh. or something we low-key had like i think like some horror pretty there was much a like throughout like there the year couple. i feel like yeah there's a couple and then there's uh was it say no evil speak no evil if I see that fucking trailer <laughs> one more time, dude, that's like I've seen the movie at this point. <laughs> like yeah. I know what happens. Hey, that's he's what like I this, <laughs> <laughs> and then he got you got James McAvoy. He's like walking in on a swamp. Like, is he just playing like an alternate reality version of his character from Split? Yeah, okay. And speaking of Split, <sighs> that's another M Night movie. But yeah, l- let's focus on Trap first, and we'll get into the yeah, where it ranks in his in the his M. filmography. But yeah, overall thoughts. That movie was suspenseful for sure. It yeah, it was. It was def- nervous. Yeah, it was definitely an M Night movie. I feel like every time I watch an M Night movie, I'm like, "Yep." This you time. can just tell. Yeah, it's like I don't know if it's like with like the directing, uh, but like the way he frames things, or like oh, I don't know how, but it's like, like you can just kind of tell. Yeah, it's like I feel like it's always like focusing on the actor's face, and it's like super in your face, like the camera's like right there. Like I don't know. I don't uh, know. Like moving shots. Yeah. Like following the person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Overall, though, I'd say like I, I enjoyed it. I don't think it's like the best M Night Shyamalan movie ever, but I definitely don't think it was like ass or disappointing. Yeah, yeah, it was I, good. I, it was I enjoyed good. it. I mean, we went in there with low expectations. I feel like we weren't expecting like a banger, so I feel like it exceeded those for sure. You know, I thought it was a great movie. It was solid for what it was. You know, but for M. the culture. Did his thing. And I feel like M Night is just a for anybody wanting to get into the thriller genre, like start with his movies. Yeah. Like it's definitely a good. He has some classics. Yeah, there like are if, classics. Like yeah. especially when he first. I mean, like bro, Six Sense. Like he kind of had a crazy run. Six Sense, Signs, The Village. Mm-hmm. Like those three. Split. Uh, well, Unbreakable. I, I think it went Six Sense, Unbreakable, uh, Signs, and then The Village. I might be missing something in there. But then after The Village, I think he did uh, Avatar. He did Lady in the Water. Yeah. And then he did Avatar, and it's The Happening was somewhere in there. So it's like he kind of started falling off there. But his first four out the gate were like banger, 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 banger. Like yeah. so. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Weird. So I feel like it's kind of been like a, which I was telling you earlier, it's like we had like peak M. Night and then kind of a fall off. And I feel like we're kind of getting back to where it's like. I think he's found his comfortable spot. Yeah, he knows, I think like, he's comfortable now. Yeah, yeah he's I just think that's yeah. It's like he's not he, I don't even, and you can even tell with the movies with like the twists and stuff. He's not trying to go like I'm gonna break your fucking brain and like yeah, make yeah. it some crazy shit that you had no idea. Like he's now just it's gonna keep you locked in and entertained the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Even the trailer, like I thought it was giving away a lot of shit, but it really it, it, it wasn't. Did, but not not really. You know, like you understand the, like the concept. It of definitely everything. kept the twist. I, yeah, I was thinking. I was like, okay, the twist is probably just that like he actually is gonna get caught or something yeah but the, there was a good twist no I, I i thought it was like i really thought that it was gonna be like it's actually the daughter is the serial killer and as a dad he's just like protecting her and it's mm. like he's like protecting her from getting caught and she oh, like yeah. has like a did <laughs> or something you told me that. that's a yeah wild ass. i was like i don't know i was like maybe i don't know he said yeah that's what he's gonna do right? yeah like, i, I just <laughs> I think I think that's my problem though. I think it's like I'm so used to like I just with it's like even though we said he's gotten comfortable, I need to like 
I guess I need to accept that like internally because every time I go into an M Night movie, I'm always thinking, "Oh, the fucking twist, the fucking twist." And it's like the last all couple ones have like been just like r- like nothing too crazy twist. I mean, I guess Old's twist was kind of interesting. Now that, now that you've talked about it more, I want to rewatch Old because the first time I watched it, I was like, "This is so stupid." I, I thought it, the movie was so dumb. No, but now that you've talked to me about yeah. it, I was like, "I may need to just it's, rewatch it." I, I think Trap is better than Old. Yes. I think Trap is better than Old and Knock at the Cabin, but I don't think it's as good as The Visit or Split. Mm. Yeah, The Visit there is a yeah. real quick like, yeah, y'all sidebar. Need to watch The Visit. That's, that's probably his most like underrated. Go ahead. Yeah, that's probably his most yeah. underrated. Yeah, you- definitely. Because I remember when I saw that, and the twist is actually we won't say it, yeah. but it's so cliche and it's so simple, but it's so perfect. Like it works. Perfect. Yeah, and in that one, he he decided to switch it up, and it's like a found footage, like documentary style one. So it's like a little bit of a throwback to those, because that was like a whole time when like Hollywood went every horror movie, like oh, found yeah, footage. like Paranormal oh, yeah. Activity. Remember, then they even tried to do it with the superhero stuff with Chronicle. Remember Chronicle Dude, was like, but don't fucking talk shit on Chronicle. No, 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 that no, is no, a no, top. No. That's might be an S tier for me. No, like, no Chronicle's is- goaded. <laughs> Dude, that's like how people found out about like Michael B. Jordan. I'm pretty. That's sure. how that was, I found out about Michael yeah. B. Jordan. And then same thing with uh the other guy. Um, I forget his the name. The main bad the, guy. The main, yeah. yeah, he was ends up, He was the Green Goblin in Amazing mm-hmm. Spider Man and all the other stuff. But yeah, he um yeah that was a solid fucking movie. Which I guess this is a whole sidebar, but like that kind of gave me, I was like that, I feel like that director could have gone on to do like some M. Night Shyamalan type yeah. shit, but like he ended up directing the, the Fantastic Four, the, the ass Uh-oh. one. So, and I don't think we've heard from him since. Damn. Bro so, got hoed out. <laughs> or sorry, fan four stick as they call it. Ooh. Cause they made the, 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 uh, the F Fantastic. They made like the, the second A as like a four. So it's like fan four stick instead of like or fan four stick instead of fantastic. Dude. The A was a four. That's awesome. I'll just throw up the thing so y'all yeah, can see what I'm talking about. Please let them know. But yeah, go on, let's go back to <laughs> Trap, back to M. Night. Yeah. I, now, we, the plot oh, with them yeah. for that movie is pretty lit. Like, essentially, they're trying to catch a serial killer. They get him into a concert and they're trying to, like, corner him in, which kind of is like, how are you expecting to like filter through that many people you couldn't corner somewhere else but i guess but the way sense. they were doing it though actually was, had it was big it was brain pretty, like towards the very end where uh like don't let any of the men out it's like yeah it was like we will take women and children only, only. i was like oh damn shit. i was They're like, like oh, he is oh, stuck oh, yeah. yeah it was like what you were saying there were many points i was like he's he's, he's cooked he's like, cooked, yeah. cooked yeah it's over and, and, and kept, like, it, like and that's what yeah for it, like a little bit of the movie it was just like okay he has this obstacle there's no way he's going to be able to overcome it. Okay, let's see how he how he finesses his way. And like, and he's like, figures okay, it. he figured that one out. He's like, all right. And now the there's next a ne- next hurdle, and it's a little more challenging. And it's like that just, kept, just kept happening. Kept going, kept going until the last one he couldn't beat, or he got tricked. And I know? liked how the trailer almost kind of like a it faked you out yeah, because in the like trailer it makes you, you think that he was going to pull the fire but alarm and that she stopped him. Yeah. But it was just like the way he edited the yeah. trailer to make it seem. Yeah. But like he never was going i mean he was going to but he heard the yeah. thing on the earpiece i actually just realized it's like i mean obviously this whole movie didn't take place like in the concert but i like for like while it was while he was at the concert i was like damn like it's kind of crazy that like this is because uh, i did, I assumed it was maybe just gonna stay at the concert the whole time which it doesn't at the end but like i was like damn he's just gonna like he's doing a good job like it's like one location but he's keeping it interesting yeah and it was i a just one day play. yeah one but then day. i just thought about that i'm like low-key a lo- his last couple movies have all been one location knock True. at the cabin one location old one location yep. split yeah. for the most part one, one location, location yeah. the visit pretty much i feel like a right neighborhood yeah it's like yeah. a neighborhood it's like i'm like damn i think like i just realized that's like been like a common theme in all of his uh movies yeah it's like trying to keep it in one central location that makes it pretty like tough to do and he makes it like interesting still yeah at the same because i think his out. thing is like he's like it's not about like the location yeah. it's about the characters mm-hmm. yeah, and the story and what's going yeah. down but yeah, he kept getting out of those tough situations. The dude's like an artist. I yeah, guess. Claire was saying like he's slippery. Like he's like, like you he can't, him, you can't he get like, him. He slithers yeah. right out. Slimy. He's a little slimy. Yeah, they you did know, a like, good job. He did a good job with that, making you think that you almost had him, and he's like, oh, he he can't get out of this. Yeah, one. and I but think you knew in the back of your head. I think it. that was also it's like because we were like we were saying like the twist in this wasn't that crazy, wasn't some like mind blowing thing, but I think it was almost like. The twist was just kind of like the cherry on top, which the twist is we just say it's like pretty much you find out that it was actually his wife who 
set the trap in a way because she mm-hmm. like there was like a whole ripped concert ticket she she thought he was having an affair because he was being all weird because he's a fucking serial killer mm-hmm. and then so she was trying to track him she's like no that's not adding up she smelled like some cleaning supplies on his clothes and then she had an idea maybe he's the fucking killer followed him to like one of his safe houses and then like staked it out and then went back when he wasn't there and like left the the uh, the uh, receipt she of the concert the ticket wallet and ripped a corner out, yeah left it so the fbi would think that he accidentally left yeah it. so she she, the whole twist is that it's like the whole time you're like, oh, shit, the trap, whatever. But it's like you find out that she's the one who really, in reality, set the trap in a way. Yeah. yeah. And I was like hella confused at the beginning. I was like, how the hell did they get his ass to the concert and then yeah. figure out he's yeah. at the concert? But you don't know what he looks like, but you know he's a guy. And I was just yeah. like, bro. And then they actually explained how all of that happened. I was like, uh, okay. yeah, kind of does make sense. Okay. Yeah. But that's yeah, what I'm saying. Here, so I feel like here. that twist wasn't that crazy, but I feel like it's almost because it's like. There was a bunch of mini, mini twists twist. with that's him, like, escaping, that, yeah. and it's yeah. like, oh, how's he going to do? Oh, that's clever. Like, kind of like that. So I feel like it was always, like, little things, and then you got the cherry on top, which is like, okay, we kind of get more context as to how he ended up there. And then also just unraveling him as, yeah. like, a, a, character. a serial killer and yeah. a character, because, like, you find out about his, like, his thing with his, his mom. trauma. Yeah. yeah, his trauma. He had, yeah, he had, a, he had like, an abusive mom, I guess. Dude, and or, the girl that... Um, the singer or whatever she did a good job of like acting like the mom no, oh yeah, yeah when she was i still don't know like was he thinking about that like was he visualizing no nah, that was her right just playing her yeah mom. No, well, so was, that was the was he imagining well so that? no she because obviously she was in on the trap yeah, because yeah. at the so end whenever brief. they're backstage like the the lady talking to so i think she was briefed like because like, yeah. that's the, what he said the too. main like, fbi oh, they taught lady. you well yeah but, the but ma- like at the same time like she, it kind of looked like he was almost like, but I guess that's the point of the yeah. shot to make it seem like he's imagining her yeah. saying all that, but no, he did a good job. With but that. I guess that goes into the acting. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah, I thought the, definitely the highlight was the main guy, Josh Harnett. Oh, for sure. Shout yeah, out his, Oppenheimer. Like, he's his, an Oppenheimer. Uh, um, like lip movements yeah. and his eye M. twitching. M. Like, like we said, he, like his dude, face he could up th- shots, like he does that so well. And M. Night gives you that face frame and he was just doing that a little. Dude, no, he would like he could flip a switch. Like literally, he's like freaking out. He's like, "Oh, hey!" Like the way he just flipped. Oh my God, this guy's like daughter's mom. This and guy's like maniacal. Like this guy's just <laughs> like the daughter's evil. friend's mom. Dude, yeah, and that that She's part like, was sure. so funny. Like when the mom and the daughters see that Riley is oh, on yeah. stage, <laughs> and they're they're like beefing with each yeah, other. Yeah, she like throws the drink. She's like, "You <laughs> monster! <laughs> you beast! <laughs> yeah, you beast!" I was like, "Oh, my reference!" She's and like, then she like screams, screams, and then she just starts like. Dancing. Yeah, she's, I was like, "That's the thing, bro. M Night always makes his movies like there's always like a like a hint of comedy to them. Oh, yeah. Like there's always like there's always like comedic moments and stuff." Yeah. But yeah, I I definitely thought he was like acting wise, like he had some funny moments too. But yeah, I think just him like flipping, cause like flipping the switch, cause you find out pretty early on. Like, he, let's just say if you had never seen a fucking trailer for this movie, you find out like what maybe like no cap, like fifteen trailers. Yes, you that's have, cap. That, we, no, they, they oh, play no, because he comes into the movie never, theater. You've like, seen no, it at one it, point. <laughs> If I did, I forgot. I Eon either down. shows up even, like right as Nicole Kidman's walking, or like thirty bro, minutes I, into the movie. I promise you, I have it down. <laughs> but like, but, I've never been early. Let me just get that out the way. Never. Burrito I, in hand. If I'm gonna be early, I'm gonna be the second Nicole Kidman says finishes her speech, and I've got. We it make down. movies better. We get movie, and I'm like, <laughs> <"It's a laughs> <Chipotle burrito." laughs> unraveling the foil on it. Is that gonna be like a new thing? Just like Low Chipotle key, burrito to the movie, dude. Because I work out sometimes after I get off, and I come straight to the movie, and I'm like, "Fuck, dude, I can't." Chipotle, sit, need I can't protein, sit carb up, hour, protein. Two hour movie with no food. I was like, "Shit!" I look down on my fanny pack, like, Bro, "Boom, this, just fat burrito." This just will f- fit a burrito. <laughs> that's so crazy. Perfectly. And it keeps it like. You Hope know, AMC right there. theaters never. The CEO of AMC <laughs> theaters never sees this. Take Bro, their A list away. I just bring this hoe in, in too, and I just put like fill it up with candy and shit. They never see <laughs> the anything. water bottle that goes everywhere. Straight yeah. up. It's like I'm literally right here. Come on. Yeah, uh, I also think um, like so. Yeah, I thought he was the standout. The daughter, like obviously, she's like, oh my god, like she, like it made like realistic. Like I feel like how she was excited for the artist. I was like, oh, okay, it makes sense. Like this, it's just like a Taylor Swift esque like artist. You know, every yeah. girl's like gonna go crazy, or whatever. But no lie, he did a good job like making the concert look like a real concert. Like it wasn't like a corny like okay, this doesn't actually but it, yeah, it, it really, was a stadium it yeah dude, it really seemed like a show like she had the whole set the dancers you know the little effects in the back it, it looked like a real ass concert. yeah they're yeah. probably about to announce an album for this yeah. well i mean well the i guess we can go into her act the, the the singer which is in real life that's one of m night Shyamalan's daughters so nepotism yeah but i mean it's like bro like hey 
it's, it's a family that's thing. The daughter, it's a family business. If that's the daughter, I ain't even mad. Let me tell you that right now. Hey, she was performing for real. I'm like, damn, where's the album at for real? Like, I'll listen. Well, to I mean, shit. that's what I'm saying. I think all those songs are probably like actual songs. That you she, got like, bro recorded. Russ pulled up. Yeah, so, yeah, you had yeah, you had cameos from Russ and Kid Cudi. What the fuck? Like Zesty Kid Cudi. Russell came out of nowhere. Just <laughs> yeah, Russell. <laughs> Is that his legal name? Russell. Yeah, for Russell. <laughs> no way. Bro, I was like, what should my name be? Just Russ. Just <laughs> Russ. <laughs> short, short. Lose, lose the soul. <laughs> lose the, no, Ruse, Just r- Russ. No, Ruse. Ruse. I can't. Ruse the lose. <laughs> Guys, am I having a. Lose the old. Just watch you like. Just. <laughs> it's <laughs> a trap. All right, go, Ruse. But yeah, no, yeah, that was cool. Russ popped up. I mean, he didn't really act, I guess, because it's just like I think it was like a glorified cameo. Like it was like a yeah. glorified, like extended cameo. Same thing in the back. Kid Cudi acted more. Wait, than no, he after did. the show, didn't he come out of the someone's like room and was like, "Oh yeah, call me." Yeah, and he just walks. Yeah, up. I'm like, all right, bros, Mr. Bitches, I guess. Like, yeah, right. bros, independent. You know, and I said, "Hey, I got you, I got." Because that's <laughs> Russ's whole thing. He loves to let everyone know he's like an independent artist. So I'm so like, he's like, I'm not mainstream. <laughs> I'm not mainstream. I love Drake. <laughs> <laughs> that's like his only he like always shouts out drake but he's like i'm independent i love drake <laughs> it's like the two things i always i never I see they go hand rest. in hand <laughs> independent artist <laughs> independence and drake, drake. <laughs> i'm just saying that's why i'm a russ fan hey uh and russ listen what's that you got what's good that? taste for us what's that right. what's that uh what's that uh what is it cherry hill was that that one song i don't know sorry Losing, losing you or something. I don't listen to Russell. What they want, what they, they want, want, what, what they, they want. want. Dollar uh, signs, yeah, I know uh, is what they, they want. want. Okay, <laughs> cool. But yeah, Kid Cudi sh- shows up wearing a wig. So is Kid Cudi like an actor now? Is that like his new thing that he's? I think dude, so. It's just a side. Popping up like random. He was an like. ex. He was in a uh, um fucking I think Sonic Two. Oh yeah, I think or the Knuckles show yeah, or something. Yeah, he, he was in that. Sonic or something. He was in uh, something else, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. He was in John. No, no, he was no, in a, no, no. Uh, 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 what was that one? A Silent Night. He was in Silent, Silent Night. Night. Oh, the Santa He's, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, no, 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 no. That's uh, that's Violent Night. Oh, Silent Night is uh, uh, the one where the guy gets. It's like a John Wick type oh, movie. And he loses. No it. He voice. can't. Yeah, he like. It's like no talking. Like barely any dialogue. No dialogue. talking. Yeah, that's so, right. That is Kate Cudi. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm like, so is he an actor now? Like, yeah, are we getting just, a little? Fuck it. He, he was singing on... He's like, nobody know? fucking with he my albums out, anymore. He was, <laughs> he was humming a little bit. Wait, does that mean she's going to have a song with Kid Cudi, too? Probably. That's what I'm be? saying. I wouldn't be surprised if and there's Russell. like a... If there's... Russell. If there's like a tie-in where it's like... Hi, there's I'm some Russell. There's some songs... <laughs> there's some songs from like the movie, and then it's like... We see that Russ song, the Kid Cudi song, maybe some other. I mean, bro, her dad's M. Night Shyamalan. So like she's plugged in. Like, there's a king of the queens coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> He already performed at a concert too, so like. He, and I also love, I love how M Night always has to. He always gives him like a. He always has like a funny little like cameo for himself. Oh yeah. Like yeah. in this one, he's like every I'm, movie. He's in every movie. <laughs> I love. I'm like, dude, that's so like. Fuck yeah. I, it's he's like, like, all right, guys, and like I would do action. that. <laughs> it's just him I would in do the that like shot. if you were a director yeah. wouldn't you just put yourself in the movie hell yeah I'd be like fuck yeah I'm in the fucking movie well, Quentin Tarantino actually. literally I'm in the fucking well it. minus the foot fetish yeah and the crazy comments sorry sorry um, sorry Quentin sorry Q but, but yeah, uh, T. yeah is this just what a QT what QT. yeah QT like the guy QT that's crazy uh, but yeah, so we, we went over acting, uh, directing and visuals. We kind of touched okay, on that so a little yeah, bit. Okay, so yeah, this is what I was saving it for. Why the camera angles in this one was very like uh, like NPC conversation. It was like, hey, did you know that this shit is going on right now? And then it's like, back, and it's <laughs> yeah, back yeah. to yeah. It's like dialogue option. And it's like, yeah, this shit is happening right now. We need to get back they, to our I, seats. I think it's because they, they had to they had to figure out a way. It's low key like you because the thing is the movie just kind of starts like it mm-hmm. just like literally they're they're on the, like they're and on I the like way to, that movies. I like where you just start. Yeah, they're on yeah. the way to the concert. Yep. Like Give me the context just, later. I feel like that's how all it. his movies are. They just start. Yep. Like knock at the cabin. They're at the cabin. Yep. The old. They're at the beach. Like. Signs, uh, they see a sign. <laughs> 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 no, no, the, I feel like the older ones, there was some build up and like stuff, but I'm saying with the recent ones, it just kind of starts. Yeah. Like, and so with this one, they're literally just driving to the concert. Five minutes later, they're at the concert. And like, <laughs> you're like, oh my God, this is the movie. Yeah, literally. I was like, oh shit. It's a beginning. trap. You know something's up. He walks in, he looks at the guards, like, 
What the fuck is that? So, so. But yeah, like I, I think He's they. Like, why is Barack Obama here? <laughs> I think they had to figure out a way to like get all the exposition for like people who needed context. Like yeah. if you hadn't seen the trailer, or whatever, to know what the fuck's going on, like you had to kind of do it that way. Where he's like, "Hey, what's going on?" And the guy's like, "Oh, you didn't hear? Yeah, there's a serial killer." It here. Li- but it literally was like choose your dialogue yeah. option, and they were talking just like, like straight, straight forward to, to the, the camera. camera. Yeah. But then every shot of him was like behind, or they would yeah. show like his face. But I did like the shots where it was like. Following him. No, it was almost like you saw him from a distance. Dude, yes. Like there were so many shots where you saw like the unfocus was on something else, but oh, he yeah. was focused there was, and he was so far. There was like, a in shot. The back. There was a shot. Uh, it's like whenever him, he, he gets the, after he talks to M. Night, they take the daughter, but he's like lies that she has, has leukemia so she can go on stage. So they, get, they get backstage and there's, this is like my favorite shot. There's a shot of him when the, the, the main FBI agent lady who's like trying to track him down, she's like at the bottom of the stairs and it's like they, they show a shot where it's like her face and she's like looking around and she's like right up close to the camera on the right side. And in the left, in it's the background him, you like, see him just yeah, like standing there like, fuck, and he's like fuck, fuck, fuck like fuck, hoping fuck. that she doesn't turn i was like that's such a cool shot bro yeah. no and then, they were really and cool then she's shots. like don't let anyone backstage and yeah. he's like <laughs> he's like i'm already here bitch i'm already here yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I I liked, and then like there was like the the I like the shot where it's like she uh, she the the singer girl tells everybody to Lady Raven. I'm just gonna call her Lady Raven. She tells everybody to, like put their phone lights on, and he's like looking around, and you just see like every see, you slowly. That's like, what I'm saying. It really looked like a fucking real yeah. concert. Like that should be happening in the concert too. You know, like and they got the two big camera angles. Yeah, too. for real. And there's so many like little notations on just how we've evolved as a society with concerts because you there were a lot of moments where it was like from his perspective of going to concerts he's like okay everybody has their phone out yeah like at one point you see him like dancing to the songs but he's looking around and he's seeing like eight people with their phones out and then they almost show the camera angle of the people like watching the concert through their phones so it's like he's doing his own little commentary on just how it's like no one no one lives in the moment yeah Yeah. am i guilty of that yeah yeah i'm a I'm going to film some stuff. I have the ability to film my favorite it's, it's, segment. It's I got like, the filming down with while just watching. Yeah, True, but yeah. I'm also like, it's like, bro, it's like, it's like, yeah, I get living in the moment, but it's like, bro, I want to relive those moments too. It's like, you like, you got to film. You got to It's got to go in the cloud. Yeah, it's exactly. It's going up I'm there. It's you, going go, up to, go it's going up to Steve. GoPro hat clip it just right go here. Everything you look at. But yeah, even like the merch thing, they're like, oh, we're running low. And it's like, hey, I was here first. Like, it's like all that stuff. It's like, I think he got like concert etiquette, like at least like how it is down, nowadays yeah. down. Yeah. I've been here since like forever. Yeah. But that black dude was so <laughs> funny, dude. Shout out that guy. Yeah. What was his name? I forgot what his name was. I don't know. There you go. Well, Eon, what, what title did you give him? Uh, bro. I was just carrying the bro. torch on that one. Said, bro. That deflect it back to you, We're bro. just going to go, bro. <laughs> bro. Just like in Hancock blocking the rocket launcher. Just bro. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I love the the butcher. You know, I keep up with all his last things. I think I'm his biggest fan. Look at this video. Look at this video I got. He's like, are you squirmish? You ain't never seen some shit like no, that. No, I think and he then, turned it down because he was like, I'm getting a boner. Yeah, right he's, he's like, like holy fuck. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, this is so good. This is one of my favorite ones. This is my favorite <laughs> job. He's he's like, like, you, I thought he was about to be like, have you seen this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. But no, nah, I like how they showed him at the end too. He's he was like, like, I <laughs> helped him. I was like, JD, cover <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. I like, yeah, that, I like how they brought that full circle. But yeah, I'm trying to think who else uh, standouts wise. You, you after they leave the concert, you got you kind of get to meet the family. But I don't think we had enough time with. I guess the wife we kind of did because you find out a little more about her. But like, she's cool. Like I didn't think no, I didn't think there was anyone like acting bad. But I was kind of yeah. like, eh, whatever. Like family's cool. Good yeah. family. Yeah, That's great, solid. great family. Great said, people. I think it's Good time for family. you to leave, right now. Yeah, dude. No, and I was like, because that's my whole thing. I was like, okay, either the family's in on it. Or he's about to just go balls to the walls, fucking crazy. And it w- it was the second one. It was yeah, the, he went balls to the walls, fucking crazy. Whenever um, what was her lady, Lady Raven? Lady she Raven. stole his phone and locked herself in the bathroom. Dude, I thought he was gonna I break thought, that bitch down. And then you just hear like pop, pop, pop from outside. I'm like, oh, he just murked his whole family. He said, fuck it. When man. no, when he uh, when she said that, uh, what was her name, Rachel? Or I can't remember the wife's name. But yeah, Rachel, like, I think. He was like, your husband is the butcher. You hear, like, shit shatter, <laughs> and then you just hear, like... Like, silence. Like, silence. And I was like, oh, he killed... And I thought he was going to open the door. Because, yeah. like, they show, like... So it's like... They, the, the, like, they show, like... She the was, way it's filmed, it's... The, you just see the back of Lady Raven, and her, like... 
a like silhouette or like her like the back of her is like taking up like the whole middle of the camera so the door opens and you can't really see him at first and the camera kind of moves to the side and or she moves to the side and you can see him and i thought he was just going to be covered head to toe in yeah, blood. yeah i was like oh my i God, thought he was going to be just, covered like, in blood he just he just fucking like, killed all of them just yeah. right there but and that's but that's the whole thing though it's like you he's like oh these are my two lives and i didn't want them to like mix so it's like obviously he cared about his family yeah. and he just did, mm-hmm. like he like he didn't want to kill he just them. had a fetish yeah he just had like some oc OCD killing fetish like and yeah the, with the whole OCD thing like they did a good job of like kind of like planting that seed because it's like the first like 10 minutes into the thing or five minutes into the thing he's like getting food with his daughter at the concert and he's like folding a napkin and like getting it all precise and like putting it on the table and I was like okay yeah. I see like he's a little quirky yeah yeah they're, yeah they're trying to let us know there's something up with this guy he's a little he's a little weirdo you know What's the next uh, topic here? What next category? Uh, yeah, we can move on to Easter eggs. Uh, there wasn't much, but like, yeah, I noticed at one point whenever they showed the SWAT vans like pulling up to the concert, I saw a billboard for The Watchers, which is like a movie that came out earlier this summer, um, which is M. Night's other daughter. She directed that. And it was like another like the horror Shyamalan mystery universe. horror. Yeah, maybe it's part Shyamalan of the, 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 yeah. the, the, the unbreakable split glass verse or whatever he has uh, oh, yeah. i don't know D- does he do that thing where all of his movies are connected is it, i mean other than like unbreakable no, split glass do we I know i don't think so like is that the same universe where we have james mcavoy playing like a fucking beast is there is that is that the same you universe beast. where the aliens <laughs> yeah i was like is that a reference to the, that maybe. but that's what i'm saying she says beast like what's such a weird thing to say you like, beast. why say beast unless in that universe there's been a guy mm. who's been a beast who's been a beast he was like this yeah yeah Remember that scene where he's like running on the railroad track? Yeah, he got a little scared there, right? Oh my god, he scared me. Fuck. Right. Okay. He's you like, might be a beast. Yeah, damn. You're a beast. <laughs> you're Get fucking, in these sheets. Dude, hey. I got cheers to that. Cheers. Hey. Come on. Lock in. Come on. Cheers. Pink cheers. Trap cheers. It's a trap cheers. Trap cheers. I'm not cheers. Is it pink? I'm on cheers. I'm on cheers. <laughs> but yeah, I thought, Um, I, I think other than that, Easter egg wise, there wasn't anything crazy. Um, I mean, I guess the fact that he had his fucking daughter in the movie as like one of the main people is because like, that's an Easter egg. Like, you it's just, a family affair. It's a family affair. Yeah, it's like look, some people, some people are gonna be like, oh, nepotism. I'm like, look, LeBron just got Bronny in the league. M Night got his one daughter directing Beyond's the like, other. That's daughter. not the same. And let me explain. <laughs> why. It, hey man, if they're gonna perform, it is what it is. Like. That is kind of lit, though. He's like, all right, you. He's like, you direct, and then you sing and act. So it's like I cover both. Like, we got behind. We got behind the camera and in front of the camera covered, they and in and the then studio. Me in the camera too. Yeah. yeah. They could make the craziest movie if they all teamed up. Like if it was just a three-person movie. Unit. Yeah, just oh, three yeah. people only. Yeah, they just can make the whole. Movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just three of them. Just three of them. But I'm like, honestly, I'm just kind of like, if we average like one M Night movie like a year, every like two years, like I'll make be it good. like a Drake album. Like, yeah, every, just every, every Drake year, album is M Night like the Drake of of <laughs> movies. <laughs> it's a hit or miss, like you know. Yeah. They're all hits. He's like, <laughs> he's like, That's a missus. I was like, you gonna let me talk shit on Who's your boy? Kendrick? They're all, they're all hit. That Who's way. Kendrick <laughs> in the M Night beef? <laughs> Probably like Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, by Quentin Tarantino. Actually, that kind of fits. Tinier, foot tiny. fetish, Doesn't or like Kendrick just Bloom House in general. Fetish. Anybody at Bloom House is his Jason pop. Blum. Yeah. Just like Blum uh, House. Sorry. sorry, yeah, get it right. Uh, he doesn't fucking know ball. But yeah. I mean, is there is there anything else? Any f- final thoughts? Closing thoughts? Uh, no. I think it was a good movie. I yeah, it. it was solid. But yeah, uh, I guess we can go on to ratings. Yeah. Um, I'm honestly gonna say like a seven, seven, seven point seven. That's good. Good rating. I'm. I'm. Mine's a little higher as usual, but that's okay. We'll go, Glazer. We'll go, hey. Glazer. Hey, dude, I like this genre, bro. No, I, 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 most of my horror I, ratings are up there just because, like, I love the suspense. Bro this gave Five Nights at Freddy's 10 out of 10, so bro, just keep that in mind. I would have gave it 12. <laughs> no, I did not do that. <laughs> Peter. Peter. That movie was fire, though. That movie it was, was not. not. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> at all. It's the most boring movie I've ever I'm seen. I'm going to go, like, 8. 8. Just <laughs> six. Oh, eight six. Damn, dude, that's close to a nine. Yeah, it's not nine though. I take I it back. I'll five. give it a seven nine. 
There you go. Oh, bro. Seven nine. You don't think it's it was right, un- eight right, right under an eight? I'm what, going what, seven. What what more did you want from that movie? I'm going seven three. Damn. I guess I wanted more death. Yeah, a little bit, low key. I wanted I, him I to think, kill somebody. I, I, yeah, I think that that was my only thing. Is it's like they build it up, they hype it up. He's oh the butcher, oh the butcher. But it's like you don't see, like you see how like me- methodical he is and stuff. But they show I a see photo the photo of like seven dead bodies. Yeah, at covered. a park or something. Yeah, and then it's like oh the most we see is like uh fucking at, when he puts the oil in the in the in the frying oh, thing. Oh yeah, and that girl and then, gets like yeah, but it's like Saturday. but that yeah he's like. <laughs> like <laughs> he's like god damn like, I'm, fuck like, yeah, he's like, I'm I just man I just wanna and cause I think that's the thing it's like every time her, well I think it's like every time he like wants to like kill I think he sees his mom isn't that the yeah, whole thing yeah I think and I think that is what it is cause I was like, who the fuck is this lady that's just next to the 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 lady who has burn scars all over her face and who's like, like and then you got a grandma just, just like <laughs> I threw up like, yeah she's just standing there <laughs> But yeah, so I'm I'm going seven. So you want to adjust yours? Would you say? Yeah, seven nine. Seven nine. How many other M Night Shyamalan movies have you seen? Maybe like, I think I watched most of old. No, I, I finished it, so, dude. The, finished the very it. last ten <laughs> minutes are the twist. The last no. ten minutes explain everything. So like you so say, I you definitely didn't it. finish that. Whole so movie. you saying you didn't finish it? You didn't get like the. <laughs> Do you have no idea what's <laughs> going on in the movie? I'm not sure, bro. I'm knock at the cabin. Lie. Yeah, oh, I've seen knock. Knock at the, at the cabin. Okay, okay. I thought was good. Uh, okay. Or the vi- well, you probably haven't seen the visit. Nope. Uh, signs. Nope. Six sense. Nope. Unbreakable. Nope. Split. Glass. Just, I think I'm Lady in the water. Nope. Avatar. Nope. The happening. Avatar happening. I think I watched. Yeah, happening. Well, he watched the shit. The worst one. <laughs> the shittiest fucking. Movies, he said, bro. "Yeah, I've seen Avatar." <laughs> the oh, shittiest fuck ones, yeah, I've bro. Nine. But yeah, I think it, I think that's why for me it's like I'm just going seven three because it's like and like I said it's like for me it's like seven three that's still good like yeah, I'm, it's, it's in your it's, good range yeah it's still passing like yeah but I think for me I'm it's like have to tone it down a bit now I'm thinking <laughs> of my other ratings just to keep it like with my other <laughs> don't let what we're saying get to you man I'm just not. You but gotta. I, I'll, I'll put it up one point point one down to eight point five because I think I rated. He said guys <laughs> no, it's only because I think I remember. I forgot which movie <laughs> it was, but I recently gave something eight point seven, and I don't think it's not one. to that caliber. It's not. It's not was it like you know, bad I'm, boys? I'm thinking about all something? the movie ratings we've done. And I'm trying to keep it consistent <laughs> and make it make sense, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm stick to eight five. Right, eight five. So well, a smooth seven nine, nine eight five seven point three. There we go. So, yeah, I, I, but that's what I'm saying. I'm just giving it that just because it's like, for me, it's like I would give like all his OG ones, like I said, like his oh, uh, Six Sense, Signs, like Village. Those are all like low key, like nine and up. Yeah. Those like are minimum all, nine. Yeah. Those are all classics. And then I think from his like resurgence, I'd say like the visits, like a nine something. But then I'd say, and like I said, it's like I like the village and split more than this. Like I'd say split's like an eight, five, maybe yeah, eight, six. Good. But then I and I'd say like old to me is maybe like a like a seven, and then like a knock at the cabin to me was like a six eight or maybe like six five. So it's like as I'm saying, I'm putting seven three because it's like just based on I'm like why right after I watched the movie I like kind of ranked it in his filmography myself. So I'm like I feel like seven three. It just it's there. It's still good, but it's definitely not his best and it's definitely not his worst. Like it's just solid. Valid. I, oh, it's still. I would say though, I'm not. But just because I'm saying that, I'm not saying it's mid. There's more good than like bad. It there is was, not mediocre. Yeah, it's, it's not a mediocre movie. movie, but it's just like it's not his greatest movie. True. So, I think that's really what it boils down to. Yeah. But yeah go watch fucking M Night Shyamalan Do movies. It. Go support him. Do it. Because it's like, bro, it's like we're always talking about. Oh, we need original movies. We need. It's like he's like. I'm not. He's not the only one. But it's like every movie he makes, I guess, other than Avatar, is an original fucking movie. Like, and I feel like his latest movies have kind of kept up where it's like it is in current time settings. Yeah. So it's very relatable to the time. Yeah. There's he's a lot like of on moments. Instagram Live trying to solve the murder case. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of moments where you're like, okay, this is current. This is very current. Yeah. And so it's like you. Everyone's like, oh, we we all have. It's just oh, Fast and Furious twelve and uh, Lord of the Rings seven and. Nice. You know, like yeah. Avengers 13. It's like, bro, like, yes, that's true. But then it's like, if you guys want original movies, you need to go support them when they're here. This is an original fucking movie. Like, like, go support it. Go watch it. Remember this when he doesn't go and see uh, Speak No Evil. Remember this. <laughs>
Like he's already <laughs> seen them. <before. laughs> he's gonna be like, run the clip. That's the money. Sh- I'll watch it. I'll probably watch it. I'll watch it. Oh, wa- well, because it comes out around my birthday. That's why. But Yoker, Yoker, Yoker. Though I'm excited Yoker about that. But yeah, that's that's uh, that's trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. And so yeah. Uh, that's another uh, episode of Listen Buddy Sun Dried Tomatoes. Uh, next up, we got um, Cuckoo next week. Cuckoo. 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 I don't fucking. Whatever the pronunciation is. But, which I think it'll be cool. I feel like the trailer kind of showed a lot, though, of that one. So, I don't know. Hopefully, there's hey, more you surprises. Said that about this one, though. That is true. Uh, but the one I'm really excited well, about, stay tuned for, is Alien Romulus. Alien Romulus. That one is going to be something that, fucking special. That's going to be a banger. I can a already re-sequel. tell. re-sequel. That's yeah. what it is. Requel, requel. Requel, requel. Requel. Yeah, I'm really excited about that, man. Yeah. I'm real. That one's going to be something. Yeah, that's going to be magic. So right stay, on, stay on the lookout for uh, those two videos coming up, and then we'll have some more. But yeah, like Eon said, there's a bunch of scary movies coming out. I feel like 2024 is overall has been hella horror. So I love lock it. in. If you like horror... We're here for you. We'll give you something to talk about. And yeah, we should cheers it out. Cheers. Shyamalan, cheers. Shyamalan, cheers. It's a trap, cheers. It's a trap, cheers. It's a pink, cheers. Thank you. And that brings us to the end of another episode on the Listen Buddy Podcast. If you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did making it, don't forget to share the love and hit that subscribe button. Reach out on all social platforms at Listen Buddy Podcast and be sure to drop a like and comment below. Stay tuned for more episodes every Friday. And as always, listen, buddy.